So this will be the review for Simplicity 1810. And as you can see, this is the blouse version. So let me start by saying that I really want to show you how I use one pattern to make a couple different looks or just make multiple of that pattern this summer. Not every pattern, but you know, once I see one that has the potential, I am going to be doing multiple versions for um, water building. Um, the fabric I used was this um, multi print Georgette. It had those colors like um, this beautiful cornflower blue, um, Kelly green, and um, a little bit of pale yellow in it. I absolutely love Georgette because it's like chiffon, but it has this texture, but it's still light, and that's one thing I really do love about Georgette. So let's get into the design features of this blouse. As you can see, it is a v-neck, but it is on a slope very flattering. I found that the facings fit in very easily. That's one thing that I find I really struggle with facings and this one works out really, really well. Um, I use fusible inner facing and I just zigzag the edges of the facing. Um, there is this connected piece that connects the back to the front. Um, and then there's these two little darts that's on both sides, okay? Um, when you turn to the back, this is exactly how the pattern piece looks. The back neckline is also on a slope. Um, it's really nice if you have a beautiful necklace that you also want to be shown um, at the back. You could have your hair up and your necklace is showing. I think this is a, a really nice cut for um, a blouse. The armholes are finished by using bias binding and that is also included in the directions. Another feature of this blouse are the self fabric bands and this is done by inserting the band first. Okay, so this is what happens with this. You attach it to the front facing side of your back fabric, your back pattern piece. And then you turn it, <laughs> and then you turn it on the um, wrong side and you make the dart and that gives you the illusion that the sash or the self fabric band is in the um, the the fabric but it's actually in the dark you don't see it on the other side I found that was neat I also like the fact that the back area here is flush and this tie band isn't like all the way around which kind of gaps your um your back area if you know what I mean when it's like that it's just you know on the side so it remains flush That's how that looks. I did my regular petite adjustment, which I do all the time, and just a regular narrow hem. And that was basically it. So I am going to show you guys the um, dress version. So I will be right back. So this is the short dress version. The only thing I did differently with this dress is to add two inches of length to it. So I'm just gonna take you around and show you how it looks, but everything is still the same from the review of the blouse. So, oh, and of course I used a different choice of fabric. This is 100% cotton. When it came, it did not have any stretch, but when I washed it, I realized that it did have a type of sateen quality to this 100% cotton. I will also 
link or give you uh, um, the number of the fabric if I haven't done it already. But this is what the dress looks like. I absolutely love this dress. It is probably going to be my um, favorite for this summer because it fits so well. So with that being said, I will show you guys how I put together the looks. So stay tuned. The first look is a casual Friday look. The shoes, I use these bone or light top pumps that I've had for years because it's one of those hard to find summer neutrals. I paired up a pair of dark denim skinny jeans and a cornflower short sleeve cardigan with the playful pattern of the blouse to give it a polished effect. Plus, I have to cover my arms because it gets really cold in the office I work in. I wore my everyday jewelry and summer tote for accessories. For makeup, I use Milani Shadow Eyes and Champagne Toast all over the eyes very lightly. Then I applied Ramel Glam Eyes and Spicy Bronze all over that. I finished off with MAC star quality cream sheen on my lips. I was going for a fresh dewy look with little makeup because it is Friday. So this is the finished makeup look. This is the front of the blouse and the back and this is the finished look. The second look is a boat ride dinner date look. For shoes, I use these champagne color strappy wedges. For accessories, this orange clutch. For jewelry, I use these Tibetan style turquoise bracelet and necklace. The necklace can be worn long or short, so it works for boat trends. When it comes to a simple statement necklace, this summer. For makeup, on the eyes, I use L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadow in Gleaming Bronze. These two colors from the Revlon Colorstay Brazen Eyeshadow Quad, which I absolutely love. MAC Blush in Ripe Peach Ombre for Cheeks. MAC Cela V Lipstick and MAC Riviera Life Lip Glass. I am wearing Revlon Color Stay Nail Polish in Delicious, which complements the lip color perfectly. And that is it. So I hope you love the looks. Like the video if you do, and I will be back. Have a great week.